Hi there, I'm Tate Brown and I am an Additive Manufacturing Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. Today we're going to be using the Offset Curves tool within the Stratasys software Insight. Right now I'm working within the F370 envelope, but this works across all of our machines that utilize this software. Go ahead and click Open. We're going to find a file that comes with the software by following this file path. Insight 14.2 may be a different number, but it's going to be Insight and then the version number. Open the TriHub file. We've got a great example here of a part that'll benefit from the offset curves tool. Say I printed this part and the through board didn't come out quite true to size after I measured it or as modeled. FDM machines are incredible, but they're not always perfect. In this case, we can compensate for that without having to go back and change the model file. Because of the way Insight breaks parts down into Z layers, one of the limitations of this tool is that it only works on through bores or holes that are parallel to the Z axis or normal to the base. Say the larger bore isn't as critical and I only want to make the change to the smaller tapered bore. I need to select the range of layers containing the critical feature. Here I can view those layers after I've selected them. Here's how I'd select the top of the range and here's how I'd select the bottom. What makes Insight more powerful than other slicers is we're able to work with the curves on the individual layers. Right here, we're just going to work with a group of layers by selecting the top and bottom range. Here, I've just eyeballed the bottom of my range, kind of where I want it to start. These can be changed at any time. Now I'm paging up with the page up button on my keyboard, again, eyeballing where I want my range to end now. Once I've selected the range top and range bottom, I can go over here and view just the layers in the range I've selected. Once we've isolated the layers to just the range we want to work with, I like to go to the top view just because it simplifies selecting all the curves in the range. Finally, the Offset Curves tool can be found under the Edit tab. Normally speaking, when we're making these type of adjustments, the printer may have printed the whole size 2 to 10 thousandths under size at most, but I'm going to enter a 15 thousandths offset here just so that we can actually see it happen when I make the adjustment. I'm going to select all the curves in the range and hover out just to see that I've selected everything. It's just a double check. Go back to the top view just because it's easier to see when the adjustments made when I hit OK. And right there you saw it happen. It was a small amount but it now is going to be a 30 thousandths oversized hole and that was a quick on-the-fly adjustment, didn't require me to go back to SolidWorks, and now I can finish processing my part.